Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. Uh, this is Purushottam and today we are going to discuss uh, more details on what is post processing in export format template. Um, we will have a brief uh, demo or introduction for in the version 7.1.0.2. So uh, let's proceed. The agenda for today is uh, we will learn what is post processing in export and the different post processing templates we have. We will take an example and uh, run a command file as a post processing method. Okay, so uh, we will begin uh, with a small demo. So, uh, post processing is nothing but uh, what we are trying to do or what we want to do once we have completed the export for example uh, if you want to copy the exported file uh, to some other directory say for example you want to validate the output xml that is generated whether it is a valid one or not uh, in comparison with a supplied xsd so those are the things which we can achieve or which we can do using the post processing in export format so as you can see here uh, i have created a very simple uh, export template and i am export uh, i am exporting uh, the item number gtin and the uh, manufacturer so here we will see uh, what are the things we can do once the export is uh, completed so for this uh, i will go to the configure advanced setting here you can see uh, um, you can define data source and all those and here if you see uh, you can see the post processing so here uh, you can have multiple post processing uh, format template for example uh, you can see as uh, add a file copy export file copy uh, multimedia archive execute a command file you can perform any of these by clicking uh, on it and adding it to the post processing so so uh, copy export file uh, what it does is it will uh, copy your exported uh, file to some other directory uh, validated xml file is nothing but the generated output xml file it will be compared with a supplied uh, xsd so uh, these are the steps which you can do these are the standard steps we have uh, so uh, and once you have uh, defined multiple post processing steps uh, keep in mind that uh, the post processing is executed from top to bottom so in this scenario the execute command file will be executed first then add file then copy export file then validate the xml file so <coughs> these are the steps that those will be performed but you can uh, change the order of the execution of these files by clicking this arrow you can see uh, say for example i want to copy the file first then so i can take it to the top then i want to uh, i want to execute the command file at the last as the last post processing step so I can take it to the bottom this is how we can uh, uh, we can manipulate uh, what are the steps we want to do first and what are the steps we want to do later okay so so in this uh, in this session we will just do a we will execute uh, the the command file and see how it works uh, as a demo so for that i will remove uh, everything will start from scratch so let me remove all these files so as a first step uh, i i need to uh, add the post processing step for example i want to uh, execute the command file okay so the name is execute command file i need to give the name of the command file okay so i have created a command file which looks like this so what i am trying to do here is i will copy the output file 
to the directory uh, to the directory C test and then I'll rename the file and remove the extension of the file say for example uh, my application it needs a file without extension for processing so I will remove the extension .txt and I will generate the file so this is how I have uh, created one batch file that will uh, copy and rename the file so the file name is rename.bat so now I will give here ok so but uh, you need to add this file uh, the created batch file to your uh, pim directory so that it will need it will it will access it from there for that you need to click on uh, uh, manage files and here uh, you can upload a new file for example i have this file i can upload it be because i have already existing this file so it is asking me if you want to have read yes or else if you already have the file you can select the file and you can use it so here we are you uh, we uploaded this file so once you have uploaded this file you can find this file in your home directory that is the hpm uh, export and here you can see the cmd so this file will be uploaded to this directory okay so uh, now we will go and perform the export uh, but <coughs> in the in the command in the command file as you can see i am using a variable like a percentage one this is to fetch the directory uh, directory name so uh, i directory where the export file is created so i need to add another variable here so here uh, i need to give this will give me the directory where the export file will be created now uh, one more uh, important thing is when you are doing this you need to make sure you are ending the command file with this uh, once this is done uh, I will click OK and I will save this now I will run the text export so uh, what it will do is it will pick my uh, exported file it will remove the extension okay so as you can see here the export operation has been scheduled successfully you can uh, uh, view the progress once this is completed the export process you can go and check in your directory where uh, as as for my command uh, file it should be created in the c under c test directory so here you can see uh, that the test one file is created but without extension so uh, this is how you can use uh, the post processing uh, for other uh, method also we can have other sessions so this is it uh, for today so you can uh, find some more details uh, by going to this uh, document uh, about the post processing method uh, for other methods also um, and we would definitely love to hear from you uh, your feedback here at uh, support videos at informatica.com or in the twitter like twitter.com slash info support thank you for uh, listening